today it's about three baits that you should be throwing in November. Let's talk about it. This video is meant to help you catch more fish. Why? We are in a transition. The fall transition is happening. The fish are going to start getting lethargic. We're going to start seeing bait balls of shad and other things. But hopefully these three baits will allow you to catch more fish. Also, stick to the end and I will tell you how you can win the baits that I show today. So, here we go. To start off, the fall is, is a time when things start getting a little bit weird especially down here in Florida. We have cold fronts that pass through and the fishing changes drastically, drastically. But what also happens is, is throughout all the United States, all the states, we, get, we start to see bait balls of shad all getting together. They're not single shad here and there, they kind of school up. And that schooling up is a great time to target those fish. Target, targeting those shad that are, are balled up will help you get, but they're gonna help you catch more fish. Fall fishing for bass, the fish start to get just slightly lethargic. They're starting to get in that transition, but they're gonna key in on those bait balls, those shad, and those other forage fish. They're trying to find their, find their way and, and get together because they're gonna soon start doing their own thing and those bass will be targeting those fish. There's key areas, grass, grass beds, a little bit deeper areas where they can sneak in and out of stuff. The, the edges of creeks and inside of creeks. But also there'll be areas where there'll be, there'll be a creek in the back end, back in front of you, but as they, they need to push out and get into main water areas. Usually those have areas where there it's shallow water to deeper water but there's three key baits i think you need to use one is definitely a top water i think you have to have a top water on and if we're talking top water there's one bait we must have the super spook i mean this bait has done more and caught more fish than we probably could ever imagine has exceptional uh exceptional a uh, sound has exceptional movement on the water, and if you learn the cadence properly, it's a fish catching machine. Here it is, the skitter walk. I mean, these two baits alone have caught hundreds of thousands of fish. They walk really nicely. They have great sound, great sound. That deep sound is always nice. There's a reason why both of them sound somewhat similar, because they both work great. But here is the key you need to use on that. If you've never used a loop knot, a loop knot has allows that, that bait to just have a little bit more give to, to move properly. Not that a Palomar knot or other knots don't work, because you have to use a knot that you're confident with. But having a loop knot in the front gives that bait just a little bit of more movement, just a hair. And that extra little twitch to the right or left triggers bass to attack. Next, because we're targeting shad or, or forage fish, you want that bait to look or have the same profile. I think one of them that really matches the profile has great action, built right, is this six cents curve. I don't think you can go wrong with this bait. Has the same right profile, has a good sound to it, and this bait is about the right size. I said it earlier, one of the things you're gonna have to do when it becomes this fall time is you need to downsize your baits. Saltwater fishermen do it drastically. We downsize not only our baits, we also downsize the line that we have too because they become a little bit more finicky, especially bass. They're lethargic. They want something that they don't want to go a long way to attack something. So a moving bait is a key in November and all the baits that you're going to see today are moving baits. Next, if you want to target 
fish and you want to use a crankbait. A silent killer, the square bowl. This bait alone will help you catch lots of fish. That's about the right size that you want to have. This is a great size because the shad are about this size. I think this is about two and a half inches maybe. This is about a perfect size that you have. Same with that curve. That, alone, that is a perfect size too because that's two and a half inches. Both those baits swim somewhat. For me, they're, both those baits are perfect, but those baits will work where you are and anywhere in the country. They don't aren't deep divers, but they'll stay up top water of the upper water column. And those baits are when you're doing when you're searching out stuff. Early morning, you want to use that top water, just chugging it around slow, just slow, just work it, let it go, let it do its thing. Then put on that. Once you find the fish or you can see the shad on your sonar or whatever you're using, if you're on a boat or wherever, that's when you want to put on that that square bill, that crankbait. Because those fish are going to be looking, those bass are going to be looking for something that right size. To add to the square bill or the crankbait, one of the things that uh, makes that bait so successive, successful is that it's a reactive strike. That bait goes by a bass and they just just charge it for a second and eat it. Now during the summer, bass will follow those baits for a lot longer period of time. During the winter when it gets cold, they're like I said, they're lethargic. They just want it to come by their face and just swallow it. Okay, on to one that you all should know. And one that I'm not taking out of the bag because I'm giving these away. Chatterbaits. This is the cross eyes from Z-Man. This is phenomenal. If you have weeds and stuff like that, this one comes through the weeds really well, really, really well, and fairly reasonably priced. It's like nine bucks. That's the other thing. The reason I'm doing this video is not only to show you and tell you how to catch more fish in November, but also let's do it on a good budget. We don't need to spend excessive amount of money on these things. Most of these baits are six, seven bucks. This one was $3.99. This is the original Chatterbait. And I don't think you can go wrong with it. This is actually the smaller size too. If you can downsize these two with a smaller trailer, then you're gonna catch more fish. And there's no better Chatterbait than the Z-Man Chatterbaits. And really the best thing about a Chatterbait, it's an easy bait to use. You don't have to be, you don't have to twitch it, you don't have to do anything. You just need to cast. And when that rod, when you cast it and that thumping is happening, the vibration that you get, if you stop, if it stops vibrating, you need to hit it. You need to set the hook. Hit it with a sidearm, hook set. Don't try to do it up, hit it sideways. You'll realize you'll catch more fish with that sidearm motion. During these colder months, it's about moving baits that have the right profile. You want to target if you're targeting bass, you want to make sure that the profile of the bait is the somewhat the the same size that they are searching for. They're not looking for giant swim baits this time of year. Summertime, yes. Winter, not so much. Doesn't mean they, you can't catch them on them, but those smaller baits are going to help you catch more fish. Now, here's what I want you to do. I appreciate everyone hitting the subscribe button and that notification bell to say that to start off. But if you want to win these baits, that means the two chatter baits, the curve, the square bull, the, the two top waters, those six lures. What I need you to do is make sure you're a subscriber. Also click that notification bell, like, and then comment below on which one's going to be the best for you. Then what I'll do is I'll put it through that randomizer and I will give all the baits to one person in a couple weeks. So, guys, thanks again for hitting that subscribe and the notification bell. Remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. I didn't point. How do you like the backdrop? I'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers. Like and subscribe, take your own kids fishing. <laughs>